Okay, so it goes without saying that video call is the need of the hour. With so many of us working from homes, all that we are looking for is the best video calling app out there. Now there are plenty of them that provides you person to person video call experience. But then what about group video calling? Well, that is what we are going to talk about in this video. Hi guys, I'm Ashish from Guiding Tech and in this video, I'll be talking about the top five video conferencing apps out there that you can use. So well, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Okay, so kicking things off is going to be the simplest app on the list, which is WhatsApp. We all have it installed and it is super easy to use. All you have to do is simply call one of the people you want. And after that, you can add individual peoples to the video call. Alternatively, if you are planning to call people from a group, simply open the group chat and tap on the call icon. Now select the people who you want to initiate a group video call and then the call will be placed. Now there's one thing that you need to remember is that maximum four people can be included in a group video call. Well, that's the limitation that you have on WhatsApp. Also, while WhatsApp is the simplest method out there, it also uses the least amount of data, which also means that overall video quality would not be the highest. So yes, it is one of the easiest possible way to connect for video calls and most of the people will have it installed. But then there's a limitation that you can only get up to four people on a video call and the quality is not what you might want. Like the quality is not that good. But then apart from that, it is one of the easiest one to try out. Okay, so the next up in the list is Google Duo and the chances are that it might be pre-installed on your Android device. Now setting up the app is very easy. You just need to install it if it's not already installed. Open it up, configure it with your Google username and your phone number and that's about it. Duo offers a much better video quality and it even allows you to create custom groups for video calls, making things a lot more convenient. Add to the fact that Duo currently supports a video conference of up to eight people, which is great if you're interacting with your family or friends. Now, honestly, Duo is my preferred app in the list because it's so simple to use. It allows up to eight people to be included in a video conference and it is free without any time limitations. So, well, it's one of the easiest app out there for you to use. But I do understand that a lot of you might be looking for a office based. I mean, you might be looking for a lot more than these simple video conferencing app, right? So, well, don't worry. We have quite a few lined up for you guys as well. Now moving on, we can't talk about video calling apps and then leave out Skype, can we? I mean, that particular platform has been there for ages and it still continues to exist and works pretty good as well. Most of the issues that Skype had in terms of connectivity are now gone. And if you'd like to use Skype for talking to your team, the app works great. In fact, my favorite feature here is the screen share that allows you to basically share your entire screen. Now, this particular feature of screen sharing can come quite handy. Like say, for example, you want to share a PowerPoint presentation or you want to share a video that's playing on the screen. You can do it using Skype. Now, the next app in the list is something you might not have heard about till now, which is House Party. Now, it started as a fun app, but has reached peak popularity simply because of the way it works. It works great for a group of friends. It alerts you when somebody is online. You can simply drop in to an existing video call without the need for someone to actually invite you. Add to that the fact that there are games there that you can play in a group is like cherry on top. So well, if you are looking for an app using which you can have fun with the group of friends, like say you want to play some quiz, trivias or a game, then House Party will definitely help you out. Well, all the apps that we have talked about in this particular video will be mentioned in the description of this video. So you can go ahead and download them directly on your smartphones. Now, the next app in the list is Zoom and it's a video conferencing app which is getting a lot of popularity with recent turn of events. Now, I know that a lot of you guys might be thinking that Zoom is paid and it is, but it offers a lot of free features. So like basically, if you want to do a video conference, Zoom works well. The connection quality is one of the best out there and there are too many bells and whistles that you might ever need them. 
However, only issue here is the 40 minute time limit. So yes, there's a 40 minutes limitation and once that's there, you need to hang up and then reconnect or you can upgrade to a pro plan depending upon your, I mean, what kind of features you're looking for. Now, before we wrap things up, let's talk about Google Meet. Well, Meet is a feature of Google Hangout, which is one of the most popular video conferencing tool out there for your desktops. Setting up Google Meeting is super easy and all you need to do is just head over to meet.google.com and start a meeting. Inviting people is also simple and you can even share your screen using the present mode. The only thing to note here is that the host needs to have a G Suite, that is Google Business Account to create a meeting. Now, anybody with a Google account can join the meeting, but only a G Suite user can actually initiate one. So well, guys, that's about it. All the links to the tools, to the websites, to the services will be mentioned in the description of this video. So go ahead and download them. And if you think that we might have missed an important service out there that you would want to recommend to our viewers, please do sound them off in the comment section. If you like the video, please do give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Guiding Tech if you haven't already. So well, that's all in this video and I hope to see you in our next one. Until then, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Thank you.